Two Roseburg police officers were not wearing bulletproof vests when they took on the Umpqua Community College shooter. That's just one of the new details that we've learned about what happened on campus that day. Fox 12's Laura Rios is live in Roseburg, where officials are crediting these officers with saving dozens of other lives. It's truly a heroic act, a lot of bravery involved when you have to step up and confront a gunman like this. Yeah, Pete, it truly is. Now, Roseburg's police chief says these two officers really want the attention to be on the victims and their families. He says they don't consider themselves to be heroes, just first responders who got here first and followed their training. But really, when you hear about what they did on this campus last week, heroic is the word that comes to mind. 1174 Medical Aid. This is for an active shooter at UCC. That's the call broadcast to police radios Thursday morning. This is going to be the Snyder Hall. The somebody is outside one of the doors shooting through the door. Two Roseburg police officers and two OSP troopers were the first on scene at Umpqua Community College, arriving six minutes after the first 911 call. The two Roseburg officers, in plain clothes, without the protection of bulletproof vests, took the shooter on. He's exchanging shots with him. He's in the classroom on the... It's going to be the southeast side of the hall. Code 4, the suspect is down. Copy. Code 4, seven. Suspect is down. They were under fire and they ran toward it. They didn't hold back in it at all. They didn't hesitate. Douglas County District Attorney Rick Weisenberg says the shooter was in the doorway of Snyder Hall and fired several rounds at Detective Sergeant Joe Caney and Detective Todd Spingath with a 9mm handgun. The officers, just 15 yards away, fired three rounds back. Two hit Snyder Hall, one hit the shooter in the side. The DA says he went back into the classroom, then shot and killed himself. The DA ruled the officer's use of deadly force was justified. And more than that, he says their actions were selfless. They had little regard for their own personal safety. And they saved many, many lives that day with their heroic acts. Roseburg's police chief says the two officers do not want to be heralded as heroes, but that's what he considers them to be. Well, I think the fact that they aren't here and they want to get on with their job and their, their service to the community speaks volumes of their character, their, their dedication to the, the career field, the profession, and again, this community. Now, Sergeant Caney was in the U.S. Marine Corps before joining Roseburg Police 23 years ago. Detective Spingath was in the U.S. Air Force before he joined Roseburg Police. He joined them 16 years ago. And the Oregon Peace Officer Association actually gave Caney a Purple Heart and Medal of Honor after a suspect shot him in the ankle back in 2005. The group gave Detective Spingath a Medal of Valor for his actions in that same shooting. So this not the first time that they had faced down a suspect firing at them. Live in Roseburg, I'm Laura Rios, Fox 12, Oregon.